One day, Thomas the Tank Engine had to wait for Henry's train, which made him very cross. How can I run my line properly if Henry is always late? He doesn't realize that the fat controller depends on me. Thomas whistled impatiently. He wanted to leave, but he had to wait for Henry's passengers. At last, Henry came. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Thomas. Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer, moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat, you need exercise. Please, I'm fat, you're the one with extended side tanks. If anyone's fat, it's you. At least I have a decent sized firebox, unlike someone. Ooh, he went there. Shut, Shut up, up narrator. narrator. I'll have you know that my firebox is perfectly normal sized. <laughs> Yeah, after the surgery. You're just jealous because I have a massive tender and you just have a tiny little bunker. Oh, because you can really talk with your short funnel and tiny dome. Oh, hell no. And yet I'm going to come over to your branch line and bust your buffers. Whoa, Henry, please, watch, watch the language. This is a kid show. Oh, because calling me fat and telling me to exercise is perfectly appropriate for children. Hey, that line was politically correct in the 1980s. At least in the UK and Australia. But what you're saying is not politically correct in any era or in any country. I don't care, I'm sick of being made fun of by everyone. But Henry, think of the children. I don't care about no children. Oh, who am I kidding? Yes I do, I'm an awful legend. <laughs> I don't know why the show was criticised for being sexist. He has enough mood swings to be female. Oh come on, now that seriously is politically incorrect. 